What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about why everybody quits Modern Warfare. Today is February 2nd, 2020 and interest for Call of Duty Modern Warfare has essentially hit rock bottom. Uh, if you go to Twitch, you can check the browse feature today. I can show you a recording. Um, Call of Duty was sitting at number 29, pretty much tied with ASMR and lagging behind the food category. So I don't know if that's just people doing mukbang ASMR. I don't know. Um, but Call of Duty for a AAA title that is only a few months old is really, really far down that list. And it's actually kind of sad. Um, and this isn't the only metric that we're going to be using to discuss. If you look at the Google Trends data for Call of Duty right, Modern right. Warfare, um, there's just no interest. No one's no one's looking up Call of Duty. If the search interest is down like 90% from its peak, it, it's kind of sad. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and I want to talk about why this is, right? And obviously, right? Obviously, Twitch viewership and search uh, indication doesn't really tell you how many players are actively playing compared to launch or peak but activision doesn't give us those numbers and it's for good reason because a couple of years ago they stopped showing us the active player count because it was embarrassingly low for their latest titles we wouldn't want the shareholders to see that their triple a title that they spend millions of dollars on is uh only got a couple thousand players online now if we pull up the search trends for black ops 4 for the exact same time frame you're gonna see pretty much the exact same thing happening which is really interesting because it seems like the community is so vocal about loving modern warfare uh and yet it's the exact same thing we're seeing last year for black ops 4 which a lot of people didn't really like that much so what's going on it, it feels like there's a very small minority of people that are just yelling we love modern warfare but when you look around pretty much everybody else has already left the room no one's no one even is there to listen to their chanting because everyone else is already off playing one of the other 28 more popular games on twitch.tv i myself have a call of duty youtube channel which you're watching right now and uh, i haven't posted much call of duty content lately because i also am one of the people who totally forgot modern warfare existed and look i'm not here to bash the game right that's not the point of this video this video is merely a discussion as to what's going on right what is happening here why are we seeing call of duty die so quickly and even more interestingly everybody in the community predicted this would happen right i predicted it my friend group predicted it youtubers that i watched people on twitter everyone knew like hey when the game came out everyone was like uh oh at this rate no one's gonna care by february and here we are february came and it, it, it's true it happened no one cares so i'm not here to bash the game but I want to talk about why this is, what's happening, what, what's going on with Call of Duty, right? Is Modern Warfare a garbage game? Is that what happened? Well, uh, <laughs> it's mixed reviews, right? It's a mixed bag. A lot of people love the game. There's no doubting that. There's a, there's no doubting that there's a, there's a core base of people that are vocal on the internet across Reddit and across Twitter and everywhere else that, you know, say, hey, Modern Warfare is actually a great game, you're just trash at it, right? They love to say that. that that's just the toxic, the toxic Call of Duty community back at it again, right? Um, but that's not really the case, unfortunately. That, that's not the reality that we're living in. Modern Warfare deserves the mixed reviews, right? It's not a great game. Let's just be 100% honest. Campaign was great. Multiplayer was average at best, right? At best. And for the longest time, you know, during those peak days, those peak weeks, we saw terrible gun balance right we, we they kept releasing patch after patch after patch and we still see the shotgun super powerful the, the game is super campy they don't do anything about that the spawn system the net code the lag it's just there's a lot of there's a lot of issues with the game right and I, again i haven't played the game in probably over a month at this point um so i don't know if any of that's fixed but the point is it's too late people don't care anymore right no one cares it, it, w when you release a game and you know there's a lot of community feedback and you know at first right they they're very they were very good infinity war was very good at releasing patches to make the game more stable and things like that i appreciate that then they added some free content they added a free battle pass right i appreciate all of these things the monetization strategy 
totally understand all of that, right? They added in uh, a couple of free maps. They added, uh, what was it, Crash? They added, um, what is it, Shoot House or something like that. Um, they added a bunch of different maps. I think Shipman or something. They added a ton of free stuff, right? And I appreciate all that. And the community loved that, right? It's great. That's a, they, they, they did a great job with all of that stuff. Um, but the problem is that when the players feel that the game is very slow paced, the netcode is laggy, um, there's still, there's issues with gun balance, right? The M4 was really, really good. The shotgun's really good. Um, there's no dead silence, which people complained about for ages and till, until they were blue in the face and they, you know, it, it just didn't come as a perk. Like there was a ton of tiny things about the game that added up to it just being a game that no one wants to play, right? And you could argue with me, but the data shows it. No one's playing the game. So what's wh like, what what were they supposed to do? I mean, really, the biggest thing was the maps, right? I feel like nobody liked the maps when the game came out. I was the last person that I know of to jump on that bandwagon, right? The game was out for a week, and everyone was like, "These maps are trash." And I was kind of holding out, like, "Wait, guys, wait, just give it some time. Let's really get to know the maps before we call them trash." You know, everyone was like, "Oh, there's too many lines of sight. There's too many windows. Too many doors. Too many this and that." You know, the game is trash. And I was like, "Well, maybe we can just play the game for like a month, and once we learn where all the windows are, maybe it'll be fine." And only after that did I jump on the bad wagon, like, "Okay, okay, I surrender. You guys are right. The maps aren't good." I take it back they're bad right so the maps were bad um and and again like so i'm gonna stop there right i'm gonna stop talking about things i don't like okay we're gonna stop there i think a lot of people know what's wrong with the game um it's it's really unfortunately a lot of little things i wish it were a lot more obvious to me because that would make this video a lot easier i could just say hey it's this but unfortunately that's not the case so if that's not it then then what is it right well for me, I think one thing was the game played too slow for a lot of people, um, and which is weird for me to say because I, if you play Modern Warfare 2, if you've watched me play Modern Warfare 2, I play that game pretty slow, um, but the action was still fast paced, whereas in Modern Warfare 2019, it was more just like sit in the corner and don't move because if you move, people will hear you because there isn't dead silence, and that's the only way you can do well. And if you do that, then the gameplay is boring right and no one wants to even watch that so no one's going to stream it it's an endless cycle right so the game is even it's slow even for slow paced call of duties right it's probably the slowest call of duty we've ever had which is just it's just not what the community wanted right and you know again this is coming not from a jetpacker right i hate i don't like the jetpack games but uh, you know and i i do like taking my time but the, the problem is this game is just the slowest like we didn't ask for the slowest Call of Duty. What the fuck? What, what? Why? Why did they think that was a good idea? Anyway, lots of issues with the game. Lots of small issues. We didn't see the Battle Royale. Where did that go? Is that coming? Who knows? I don't know. Um, it, it is what it is. But to me, the biggest problem, right, is that I have less time to play games than I used to back when the big Call of Duties came out. The Golden Era, right, from Modern Warfare Original to i don't know black ops 2 that era or modern warfare 3 that era we we all you and me we all had way more time right myself and probably most of the call of duty community has way less time to play games and so what does this mean well um we don't want our progress reset every year <laughs> so that's the problem we need a break from call of duty right call of duty is one of the only AAA titles that continues to release a game every single year and it's suffocating itself because if you go back and you look at all the most popular games on Twitch, you're going to see that pretty much all of them are games that have that don't have a yearly release, right? I mean, we're talking about Fortnite. We're talking about League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, what is it? Dota. We're talking about Counter-Strike, Apex Legends, Overwatch. All of these games, you know... Rainbow Six Siege they're not yearly releases and and why is this beneficial right this is beneficial because I don't want to play Modern Warfare and level up my character because I don't have an incentive well why don't you have an incentive on the arc you could still level up yeah I could for the next I don't know eight months seven months and then the game's over right the game's over and that's it all my progress is gone so when you look at all the other games that it's competing with these are games that are 
games that last for years five years ten years world of warcraft like like the time and investment your time investment stays with your character for years and years and years so when you grind for a challenge in world of warcraft you know that whatever mount or skin or whatever you obtain is going to stay with that character for as long as the game is live anything that i do in modern warfare will be literally worthless in seven months so it's not worth playing it's not worth grinding for the the best camo or the top achievement or getting max level or be going through the battle pass it doesn't matter because all of this stuff is going to be gone in seven months and you know eight years ago <laughs> during call of duty's peak um or 10 years ago at this point really um that wasn't the case that wasn't the case because a lot of these games didn't exist like you know of course we had we had counter-strike and wow but we didn't have all the other ones that i mentioned right and that's the direction that gaming is heading why because people don't have as much time to play video games as they used to so any progress that i make right like i want to see progress i want to see progress in a game so why would i play call of duty when i know that progress is going to get erased it's going to get wiped in seven months it doesn't make it it doesn't make sense and this is why people keep playing fortnite keep playing league keep playing wow because they know that that time investment is going to continue to pay off they're going to keep those rewards moving forward rise of kingdoms right you've seen me post content about this game i've been playing this game for almost 500 days at this point why because there's still content for me to discover there's still i can still level up my character and i know that next year the game is still going to be around and of course right like eventually league of legends is gonna die eventually fortnite is gonna die and then when those servers get shut off and of course your progress goes away but that's already the case for all the call of duty games that i've already maxed right my max level on on world of world at war right time wasted time wasted that's already gone and we know that's gonna happen to call of duty modern warfare so not only did the game uh over promise and under deliver in a lot of aspects um it's such a short-lived it's like a spark in the in the gaming industry right it's not a juggernaut it has no staying power it's just a little flash on the scene it pops up it burns really hot for two seconds and then it's gone you're number 29 on twitch no one gives a shit right and it's sad to see and you know the funny part is cod mobile is probably the future of call of duty at this point i'm seeing more people play call of duty mobile than i'm seeing playing modern warfare because i'm seeing people play it in the break room at work i'm seeing people play it on the bus on the way to work i'm seeing people play it in their free time and guess what there's not going to be a cod mobile 2 in seven months their progress is going to stay with them they're going to keep that right and they're going to keep updating the game with more content and people are going to keep playing and they're going to keep spending money and call of duty is going to realize wow we're making way more money on cod mobile why don't we just ditch the console bullshit and keep going that route and it might happen right they might make a, a pc adaptation and a console adaptation and it's going to be like fortnite where you can play it on your phone your xbox your play playstation 4 your pc and it's going to just be called call of duty right they'll drop the mobile from it but it'll be the same game and I think that's the future of COD, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, right? Like, I don't know. I had some, I had fun when I played COD Mobile on my PC. Uh, I didn't really have that much fun with Modern Warfare. I mean, the 2v2 gunfight was kind of cool for a little bit, but that's it. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I just want to discuss this with you guys. Um, a tiny little sprinkle of i told you so because i predicted this months and months and months ago i told you guys it was coming everyone was like oh my god no it's gonna be modern warfare modern warfare is coming back you guys it's gonna be so good and i'm just like dude i hope you're right but uh you're not gonna be <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon if you are new around here make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe turn on notifications for more content and who knows moving forward my philosophy for this channel is just i'm gonna post whatever i feel like so i hope you guys will come along for the ride um i am more likely to post videos if it's stuff that i enjoy so moving forward look forward to more rise of kingdoms call of duty unboxings whatever i feel like doing i don't even give a shit anymore i'm just gonna do it 
So hopefully I'll see you guys there. Follow me on social media, Discord link in the description below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.